PromptFlow is your one-stop toolkit designed to smooth out the entire development process of LLM-based AI applications. It comes fully equipped with an SDK, CLI, and even a Visual Studio Code extension, ensuring a seamless development experience. From the spark of an idea, through prototyping and testing, all the way to production deployment and monitoring, we've got you covered. With Prompt Flow, superior quality is always at your fingertips. When we talk about high quality, it's not just about accuracy. It's equally important to strike a balance between the accuracy and the token cost of the LLM. In this video, we've walked you through how to facilitate high quality output by fine tuning and evaluating prompts in Prompt Flow. Let's proceed with flow development in the Prompt Flow Visual Studio Code extension, which offers a more user friendly interface for authoring. Firstly, open Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I already have the Prompt Flow extension installed. I create a new flow from the chat template. Open the DAG.YAML file and click the Visual Editor button above to view it in a more intuitive, flattened UI view. Now, navigate to the chat node. Select the connection you've previously created. Select the model you want to consume. Then click the Jinja file to customize your prompt for the chat API. In this case, I want my chatbot to answer any math questions, so I'll modify the system prompt to define its capabilities. Now, let's put it to the test. Click Run, select Interactive Mode, and input a math question, such as what is one plus one, and press enter. As you can see, it provides the correct answer. Let's test it with another one. Great, it seems our bot excels at solving simple math problems. To truly test its intelligence, let's ask a complex question. I opt for the standard mode rather than an interactive run to test a single input session. Put the single input question into the question input box. Click run. Oops. I only asked for the answer, but look here, my bot has provided an explanation as well. That's not exactly what I wanted. However, this is because LLMs are inherently random, so I believe here to let him answer what I want, I need to add a process to handle the output, extracting only the answer. Therefore, I'm now adding a Python node, which I'll name extract underscore Python, opting to generate a new Python file. See? A new Python node is here. I set the chat output as its input, and edit the flow output to be the Python output. Then, let's click the Python entry file and input my data processing code into the Python entry file. Let's save that. All right, time for a test run. Fantastic. It performed admirably this time, isolating only the correct answer. All right, guys, now it's time for the batch test on a wider range of questions to verify its true quality. Here I've got a test data set containing 20 data points stored in a song file. Each data point includes a math question, the input, the correct answer, the ground truth, and a detailed explanation, the raw answer. Before run, I'd like to change some model configurations. I prefer the powerful GPT-4 model which is super smart. And to make things more exciting, I set the temperature to zero. By clicking on the batch run button, we can select the test dataset from a local song file and then set up the column mapping. In this case, won't need the chat history column, so leave it empty. Next, map the question input to the corresponding column in the dataset. Once everything is set, hit run and watch the magic happen. During the running, Let's keep an eye on the log, which shows the progress for each line. And here's the best part. Once the test is done, just click on the return link to check out the amazing output answers. However, it's very time consuming to manually compare the generated answers with the Grout-Truth answers. So, how can we quickly evaluate the accuracy of our model? Here's where the evaluation flow comes into play. I've prepared an evaluation flow consisting of Python nodes specifically designed to calculate the accuracy of my bot. 
To trigger this evaluation flow, just like before, click on the batch run button. But here I can select an existing run. This will automatically read the output JSON file of that specific run. Next, set the input data file that includes the ground truth. In this case, I'll use the same test data set. Then, let's proceed to the column mapping and set the prediction and ground truth accordingly. All right, it's time to click run and eagerly wait for the result. It completed in no time. Once it's finished, we can head over to the run history, locate the run, and simply right-click to view the aggregated metrics of these 20 data points. It's really not good, only 35% accuracy. It's clear that we need to make significant improvements to ensure better quality if we plan to ship this to other users. With prompt flow, you can easily whip your prompts into shape with multiple variants and test their performance. Let's dive right into refining our prompt to achieve top-notch quality for production. With Prompt Flow, it's a breeze to create a variant for your prompt. All you need to do is click on the Show Variant button, then click Clone to duplicate the current one. Now, you're free to modify this duplicate and give the prompt a bit of a twist. This will be your brand new prompt variant. How simple is that? All right. Folks, I've whipped up three variants of my original simple prompt. By clicking on the Show Variant button in my chat node, you can see all the variants and their IDs. I'm using the chain of thought method to feed the LLM more examples complete with the question, the reasoning, and the final answer. This way, the LLM will meticulously process the question step by step with logical thinking, resulting in a more accurate and sensible answer. But here's where it gets exciting. Prompt Flow offers a feature that allows you to trigger batch testing on your three prompt variants using the same data set. Just repeat the previous step to kickstart a batch test. Choose to run the three variants of the chat node. It triggers three runs which automatically proceed one after the other. Next, we'll move on to evaluating these three runs. Open the evaluation flow again, click batch run, select the existing variant underscore zero run, then make your selection of the data set, column mapping. Repeat these steps for variant one and variant two. Then, it's just a waiting game until the runs are completed. Okay, we're done. As before, head on over to the run history and click to see the metrics. Wow, check out the improvement. The accuracy has soared to almost 90%. That's fantastic. But hey, you may be wondering if there's a way to view all the runs in one place rather than clicking on them one by one. Absolutely, you can easily multi-check the runs you want to visualize, then hit the visualize and compare button. This will generate a local HTML page where you can scrutinize the run results line by line. You can examine the results in detail and effortlessly compare your different runs right here. Upon comparison, we can observe that prompt variant underscore one and variant underscore two have the similar accuracy. However, variant underscore one stands out as the better choice due to its lower token cost. Just in a few steps, we identified that prompt variant underscore one can best suits our needs. With prompt flow, you can easily test and evaluate different prompt variants, find the optimal point to balance the cost and accuracy, which enable you to facilitate high quality LLM native apps to production.